A good day everyone. Finally I decided to do this Mugen AI tutorial. Um, in the beginning actually I wanted to do it but since the topic is too wide, too broad, you can write a book out of it. So maybe it's not a good, a good choice but I search around on YouTube, on Bilibili, I find there's no decent one to talk about it so maybe it's a good material for another set of videos I will split the topic piece by piece and uh, just like other uh, programming tutorial I will use examples to make you understand even you have no programming background actually I'm not a programmer I'm, uh, I'm an amateur programmer I didn't write code for a living but I still managed to do it so I believe you will also able to understand maybe you were not able to write it but you were able to understand okay let's get started the first part will be the introduction so there will be no code writing in this video uh, but you will understand what is Morgan AI and what is not There's three kinds of AI I think Morgan can use. The first one will be the default AI, I will explain later. The second one will be the custom AI, which uh, I will cover in the whole tutorial. And the last one will be the neural network AI, which is uh, I will not cover and I don't understand. But uh, what I understand, this is the AI of uh, AlphaGo or deep learning machine learning something like that they use neural network which looks like the picture in the right so let me talk about the Morgan default AI first the default AI simply have no AI so just let the computer smash the button for your character so the engine actually were not aware what does your character look like, what does your character behave, what what strategy it will use. No, it will not know. So the best thing it can do is just smash the buttons. So this is Mugen default AI. So some character you download from internet have no AI, but when you put into the Morgan engine and let the Morgan control it you will find uh, the character behave very weirdly it jump without any brain it's just doing some random jump random punch some, sometimes charging power in front of your face and doing very bizarre behaviors next we will we'll use an example to show you how the default AI behaves First, let me go to my website and download my reel uh, as this example character. My reel of course have AI, but uh, in the process I will rename reel and uh, uh, remove his AI and let us start from beginning. I will rename his name as real test. I will open him in the fighter factory. And you see here the AI parts. I will delete all of them. Make sure the custom AI is removed. So on the human command part, you see this AI level. So if you see this AI level, means this real is a Morgan 1.0 or 1.1 character. So all the Morgan were not able to use this trigger uh, because it have a exclamation mark AI level means when human is controlling 
him so execute following block but we are also want the AI to smash buttons so we have to remove this part to allow AI to access to these blocks you see I will replace the AI level with a 1 plus 1 plus 1 inside the parenthesis so this will uh, since 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 then 3 is a positive integer so it will return true so it will let anybody including AI to access all the codes here and uh, if I need I can replay this weird string back to AI level so. Round two. So the blue one is controlling by AI, which is just smash the button. The left one is controlled by me. Uh, Locks key's blocking is not suck. Now you got some rough idea about the Morgan D4 AI. Uh, actually, it performed quite well uh, than normal because I haven't fully deleted the AI. Some AI codes are still around in other states, so it's not totally nonsense. Before we can move on to the next stage, uh, which is the custom AI, uh, there's a two concepts I need to make it clear in your mind. So let's see the following example. So on the left we have a guy who just got his drive license. But on the right we have a world racing champion. Okay, so who will win the race if they are going to have a race? then obviously most people will pick the guy on the right who is the champion, right? But think again. But what if we give the new guy a Lamborghini and uh, give the world champion a bike? Who will win? Maybe the answer is the new guy just got a license because he have a Lamborghini. So what's the point of this example? So in this example, I actually separate a single entity which usually is a driver plus a car. So for the Mugen character, also the same. The driver represents the intelligence. Uh, if human is controlling the character, then the human will be the driver. If AI controlling the character, the AI will be the driver. Now clearly the vehicle below is the character itself. Sometimes the character is big, sometimes the character is faster, sometimes the character is able to perform some weird tricks. So a Mugen character in our view can also be separated into these two. One is uh, performance, uh, the character itself, the vehicle. And the other side is the intelligence, which is human or AI. And one sad thing I want to share with you is as an AI coder, even I code 4,000 line of AI and the code of the AI as the world champion it won't able to beat that guy and with the Lamborghini and most people on the internet will not able to separate these two concepts and the code the racing car champion oh your AI sucks okay let's have a close look of these two concepts performance and the intelligence so the performance will have speed, range, strength, size, resources, invincibility, and more, and more and more tricks. On the intelligence side, which is AI or human intelligence, is at the right time, 
the right place to use the right resource or to do the right thing. And usually it's limited in quantity. And maybe this tutorial will focus on the intelligence side, but in order to become intelligent, you actually need to understand, have a deep understand of performance. For example, you need to deep understand what is speed, what is range, and blah blah blah. And I will show you what is speed. Now I will change reels walk speed from 3 to 30, add 10 and running add 102. And let's see the result. And this is what we call speed. And next is range, and this is range. Now we are riding the Lamborghini and the Kun is riding the bike. And next will be strength. Obvious, I will change the damage of for this punch. You know, I will add two zero into it. Now he is one punch man. And next will be the size. I will shrink my real size to one tenth of it. Okay. Next will be the resources and also very easy you can add one more zero to your life one more zero to your power if you add two zero three zero it's up to you so you can imagine the difference Next one is invincibility. So I will add one code, one code block to the minus two states. Okay, it's not hit by. And the trigger is one, which means always trigger. So. Show you can! Show you can! Actually, I can change the code to make the invincibility not that obvious. So I can say when the state is in between of uh, 120 to 159, which is guarding, so I turn off invincibility. Okay. So that means uh, when I guard, I can be hit. So if I never tell you Ryu is cheating by turning on the invincibility all the time, except when he is guarding, can you spot Ryu is actually cheating? My guess is no for most people, except you are really a fighting game master and are very familiar with this Ryu. I think now you're able to separate these two concepts, performance and intelligence. 
but we are not going to focus on the performance in this tutorial but the other one so it's crucial for you to find some character have similar performance and make them against each other will make more sense okay now let's talk about the two types of Mugen so before Mugen 1.0 and after Mugen 1.0 and before Mugen 1.0 it looks like this and after one is kind of wider screen so before Mugen 1.0 it only have a narrower screen or 4x3 after it support both 4x3 and 16x9 or any other uh, screen ratio actually So the main difference between these two on the AI perspective is before Mogul 1.0 you have no way to tell whether your character is controlled by your human or controlled by the AI but after Mogul 1.0 you have a special API or trigger called AI level you can ask Mogul engine hey what's my AI level so if it's controlled by human it will give you zero and uh, if controlled by ai it will give you the difficulty so before moving 1.0 uh, people want to make ai too so they develop some tricks that can detect oh actually i'm controlled by ai so as you can see uh, there's uh, many many commands with with weird combination like Z, Y, C, B, A and the time is zero so basically when AI smash the button it can sometimes smash the button very quickly so even quicker than speed of light so you see the time is zero which is impossible for human so using this trick uh, before Morgan 1.1 or 1.0 uh, people use this trick to detect hey actually AI is controlling my character so I will turn on the AI switch on then execute his custom AI uh, but this kind of method will have a downside to have a delay of activation of the AI because it's not necessary uh, the AI will execute these uh, crazy commands instantly uh, it, uh, it always took some time you will see the character standard there and doing nothing is because the AI haven't executed this crazy command yet and another downside is uh, if you want to take back the control there's no way to know so you can never take back the control you can never control a AI character uh, and make it back to human instantly you have always have to reload the match so after Morgan 1.0 the official way is to use the trigger is called AI level it will tell you okay I am controlled by human then it tell you zero controlled by AI it will tell you one two eight which is a reflect of this number okay I think this tutorial is already stretched too long and I will see you next time and in the next video I will guide you through a kind of hello world uh, code to write your first AI to make your character able to swing some punches Okay, see you next time.